Hello, my name is George Garcia, and welcome to the Guided Tour of Eagle, video number three, the Hierarchical Schematic. So, this is a new feature in version 7. The idea behind it is that by implementing hierarchy, it allows you to abstract away complexity and basically describe your design in simple blocks. This simplifies the division of labor since you can assign blocks to different engineers and it also makes the design intent of your circuit a lot easier to read and to decipher from your schematic so let's show how we can do that how we can make a simple module so we go over here to our module icon let's go ahead and create a mo uh, an uh, module that we're going to call power okay we're going to prefix it with the letter P say OK create a new module called power we're going to say yes as you can see we can place as many of these as we want and we haven't defined any real circuitry for them yet okay that's kind of the beauty of this you can define a module without really knowing what the circuitry within it is going to be you're basically treating anything that's within the module as sort of a black box okay you're abstracting complexity away so we've created modules but now we don't have any way to get into or out of the circuitry within it right it's basically a fortress we don't have any doors to go in and out from the way we add those in is through ports okay it is through ports that you can take nets within a module to the next level of hierarchy in other words to be able to have a net exit a module so let's go ahead and create a few what we do is we activate the port command we then click on our module let's go ahead and place this one here and we're going to give it a name okay we'll say uh, output very descriptive and we're going to notice it so that now all of them get that that port in the exact same location let's go ahead and put in another one okay we'll call this one input say ok now they all have input. Let's put this one. We'll call this one ground. And let's go ahead and put one more. And we'll call this one source. Okay. Now we can hit escape. As you can see, the source port is kind of in an inconvenient location because it's kind of overlapping the name of the module itself. Now operations on ports are all carried out using the normal operations but we're going to hold control when we do so. So we go move and we try to click near the base. Okay. Left click to drop it and they all move. Perfect. Okay. Now if you notice each of these ports also has a, a predetermined direction this can also be changed and we do it using the move com uh, the info command and we hold down control again so control near the base we'll get this little properties I'm going to change the input to just be an in I say apply you notice how they'll all change again we go to the output now oops I got the module see it's a little tricky there we go. This one will just be an output. We'll say OK. The ground. Ground is going to be a power pin. Now, power pins on ports behave the same way as they do in parts. Basically, by setting this one to be power, they're all automatically connected. And finally, we're going to do something similar with source. We're going to set its I.O. to be a power pin as well. Apply and OK. And we can basically interconnect these as we see fit. OK. There we are. Now I made a small mistake over here happens to the best of us yes there we go perfect okay so this has been guided tour of eagle video three the hierarchical schematic thank you very much and have a great day